Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Cerner Hacks. In this episode, we're going to talk about the admission workflow. There's a lot to remember here. I've organized things to optimize our time while we're seeing the patient. So let me show you how I do it. Welcome to another episode of Cerner Hacks. So in this episode, we're going to talk about admissions and how we make our workflow happen. Well, we just got a call from the emergency department and they want us to admit another patient. We have to first review the patient and make sure that they're appropriate to our service. So we're going to review the documentation from the emergency doc. We're going to look at the vital signs, the labs, and the goals of care. And then we're going to look at the allergies. Then, uh, after we have determined they're appropriate for our service, we're going to admit them and we're going to order our BPMH very early on so that the pharmacy tech can get onto that while we do the brunt of the admission. We're going to collate the information from CareConnect as well as from old charts. So now it's time to see the patient. You go see the patient, you come back, and now we can put the data entry in. You know the chronic issues, so you can enter into the center. You can document the history of present illness in your physical. And then you move on to your active issues. Let's assess what the patient's problems are, what are we going to do, and then we put the orders in. Discontinue first the holding orders because the emergency doctor doesn't want his name on those from here on out. This is now the best time to do the med rec. So we'll do that first before we place any orders. Finally, we're going to do the quick orders or the power plan to put in all patient orders. And then we're going to make sure the order profile is correct. So the first thing we're going to do is review the patient. And that includes the allergies, the documentation from the emergency physician, as well as the labs and vitals and the goals of care. So here we are in the admissions tab. And as you can tell, I've reorganized my light menu in a way that makes it easier to peruse the information that I need. To reorganize the titles, all you have to do is click on the title and drag up and down to where you want them placed. And don't forget to reconcile your allergies, so go up to the blue bar and click on this. We'll mark as reviewed and we'll go OK. I would suggest not doing the allergy reconciliation from the light menu, as sometimes when you reconcile from here, Soda doesn't register it properly. So next thing I do is review the advanced care planning and make sure that's appropriate. Then we turn our attention to documents. At the very top is the document section and this shows the emergency note. I can open it up and review the patient, see what the emergency physician had to say. Next review the vital signs. And in the vital signs section we can see if there's any instability of that patient. Do I need to see the patient right away? Then we can review the labs and see if there's anything important that we need to take a note of. And the active issues. Here we can see a chronic issue here already and the patient's admission uh, issue for this visit and chronic and here we can review the current medications so as you can tell here the medication reconciliation has been done or the BPMH so all we need to do now is enter admission orders now that we've determined we're going to be admitting this patient we'll have to put the admission order and the BPMH needs to be done Hopefully the BPMH can be done by the hospital pharmacy technician that's working at your hospital. We're requesting the BPMH to be done early in this process so that it can be done by the time we're ready to do the admission med rec. Okay, so here we are in a quick orders page. We're going to admit the patient and perform a BPMH. Um, you can see this is a customized order screen and we're going to teach you how to do that in another video. So we're going to sign this off and we're ready for the next step. Okay, now that we've admitted this patient, you can see that this patient is now inpatient as an encounter type. We've changed it to the attending as us. My next step is to start putting in the chronic medical issues. So we can go to active issues here, and this is where I like to document the chronic problems. So let's say this patient has diabetes and has a history of dyslipidemia. Okay, so that's how we would start populating the chronic lists. We would get this information obviously from any paper charts. If you're lucky enough, you may have a link here uh, at our hospital. We have something called Care Connect. This will bring us into the Care Connect environment where we can pull in the previous electronic medical record. We're currently in the Cerner test environment, so it shows an error here, but in the real Cerner environment, you'll be able to navigate Care Connect. Once you go into documents, you can start copying and pasting into your documents. So here we can tear off this screen to leave the Care Connect environment on this side. Over here will remain the Cerner side and we can resize the windows so that you can see both screens at the same time. Here we go back to the home menu 
and that will bring us back to the emission tab. If you still want to see that third column, you just have to resize this window from 100% down to 50%, and that should bring back the third column as you can see here. So what I want to do here is copy the passport code history list from previous documents. I can paste it into the, say, the physical exam section here. So what we're actually doing is using the physical exam section as a temporary work area. Once I've done that, I'll re-expand this screen. We'll change this back to 100%. So what we'll have here is our copied past medical history from Care Connect. We'll use that as our reference guide to typing in our chronic problems here. Once we're done with the temporary area in our physical exam, we'll delete that. You can also type in the chronic problems directly from the split screen in Care Connect, but I think at 50% magnification, it'll be really difficult to see what you're actually typing in. So we already started talking about the chronic issue data entry when we're talking about the Care Connect environment and reporting information in. So next is the history of present illness and the physical examination. Now we're going to collate all that information that we've gotten from our past medical history and the documentation from the emergency physician. So now it's just about documenting. This is a pleasant 40-year-old lady who presents to hospital with a three-day history of, of abdominal pain. Next we'll do the physical examination and here I oftentimes will pull in an auto text and I'll show you in another video how to do the auto texting. From a certain environment, there is something called the EDPE Adult Quick. So as you can see in this physical examination, this is all filled in and you can make adjustments to this, let's say, tender right upper quadrant. This is a quick way of doing the physical examination. Next thing I do is the active issues. What am I going to do with this patient? So now we're going to go back to the active issues list. And now we're going to specify what this patient is in here for. They'll appear in our active issues list. Let's take the diabetes. We're going to make this a chronic issue and it's not going to be an issue this visit. So abdominal pain becomes our top choice here. And then here we're going to put in our assessment. We'll need to do a CT scan of abdomen, period. Pain management will be important during this hospital admission. And if we wanted to add more issues, we can. One of the things I'd like to add in here was discharge planning issues. And here you can obviously see I'm typing in the first few letters of each word and it'll pull in the discharge planning issues. And this is where I usually put the disposition. Instead of typing in the issues, you can also dictate it in this field. If you do that, make sure you press spacebar afterwards and you can select it from the drop down. Plan discharge once abdominal pain is improved and tolerating a regular diet. Hopefully in your hospital, you'll have a front end speech recognition type software that can be used. So the next thing we're going to tackle is the orders. The first thing I want to do is discontinue any holding orders that the emergency physician may have placed. Um, generally, the emergency doctors don't want their orders carrying through into the rest of the mission because they're not MRP for the patient. So we'll discontinue the holding orders. Then to make our job a little bit easier, I'd recommend getting the admission med rec done. If you don't do this and you do all your orders and then do the admission med rec, you're going to have to reconcile all your new medications as well as the patient's previous medications that it becomes quite a handful. So I'd do this before you put any regular orders in. And here we can see the initiated holding orders. We're going to right click on that and discontinue this. These are things that's going to be discontinued. So we'll go okay. And we'll sign them off. So now the next thing we're going to be doing is the admission med rec. And we'll click into the admissions. Here we can see the patient was taking morphine before coming into hospital. We're going to discontinue that and replace it with something else. We're going to continue renitidine. We'll sign off on that. So now you can see that the admission med rec is now completed. Now it's time to put in your own orders for this patient. For the first few times, I do recommend going through a power plan. So let's go to quick orders. And uh, let's do a power plan. We're going to select the medical general power plan. I don't really like this view, so I'm going to change this to list view. It makes it a little cleaner. 
and then we're going to modify orders. Going through a power plant every admission is a bit daunting, so there's a couple things we can do. We can either save it as a favorite after we're done with this modification, or the other way we can do it is do individual orders, and I've got a customized quick order screen that I'll show you a little bit later in this video. I recommend doing this for the first few times anyways, just to get a practice of how power plants work. I'm going to speed the video up a little bit through this so that it doesn't waste too much of your time. Now we have to do the VTO prophylaxis module. Now we go back to the general medication admission. So now we're back into our power plan. I'm going to go through here and then we're going to initiate now. But before we do that, we're going to save this as favorite. In case if there's any updates, we have to leave that alone and then the sonar system will notify us or flag us if there's any changes to any of the routine orders here. I'm just going to put my initials here and we're going to go OK. And then we're going to initiate. And then orders for signature. And then we're going to sign off on it. OK, so when we go into here, we're going to go to orders. And we're now going to see all the orders here that we went through the, during the power plan. You can see that the holding orders are discontinued and we're processing these orders. And if I click refresh, hopefully that'll be initiated. There we go, initiated. So that's how you can check that you've done all the orders here. Um, we also mentioned we're going to do a CT scan. So we're going to add that. And we're going to see CT abdomen with and out without contrast. We're going to sign off on this one as well. And so now you can see the CT abdomens here. Now, if we also go in back into a quick orders page here, and then here we go. The general mission power plan as PC is here. So in the future, if you're ordering the exact same thing for another patient, it is available for you and all you have to do is quick order. So now they have to remember that everything you ordered there will be ordered the exact same way the next time. So another way we can place admission orders is going through a quick orders menu. As you can see here, I've customized my quick orders menu so that I have an admissions tab. We go down here and we can admit the patient. We can do the BPMH. We can pick the activity. Uh, physiotherapy consults, for example, can be fill or for weakness. And you can see that's pre-filled. Same thing with vital signs. We can pick the, the frequency quite quickly. Same with occupational therapy. We can do various reasons for occupational therapy consults. We pick the right one. Social work consult. You can choose your diets. The DBT prophylaxis is done quite quickly based on renal function and the weight. Uh, we can do code status. We can do admitting labs. Things that we do most frequently are picked on this menu quite easily. So we can pick urine samples, stool samples, um, admission medications. So we go through and we quickly go through that, bowel protocols. So as you can see, this is much quicker than doing a power plan. There's a frail elderly delirium power plan. So rather than going through different ones, we can just pick the ones that we want here, including the in and outs and your PRN antipsychotics. So we just sign off on it right now. And as you can see, we went through this quite quickly within a couple minutes. It will take some time to set up your quick orders page to customize it to this extent. However, it's, it's well worth the time invested. So in another episode, I'm going to show you how we can do this customized quick order screen. So now we're going to do one last review of our order profile to make sure everything is correct. So we'll click back into our admissions tab here. And we're going to go into order profile. Of course, the other way you can do it is going to the dark menu and getting to the order profile here. And then we'll just go through one by one to make sure everything that we have here is correct for this patient. And once we're satisfied, we can go back. So we're going to sign off on this document. And everything gets pulled in here. I usually take out what's not needed just for the sake of clarity. 
one quick word about the social history and family history. I usually put that in the history of present illness. The reason why I do that is when you fill in the social history part of it in Cerner, that becomes permanent record. So the thing I usually do is put it into history of present illness. That way it's not a permanent record on that patient's chart. So the last thing we do is just sign off in it. And when you do this, there'll be a list of providers down here that have entered the patient's chart such as the triage nurse, the emergency physician. So I usually pick the emergency physician. Down here will also be the family doctor's name and I click on that as well. So that way they get CC'd on the admission history physical and we'll sign it off. And here you go, when you go to the documents section, we'll have to refresh the page. And now you see our admission note right here. So that's all there is to it. It's a lengthy video, so I apologize for that, but there's a lot to go through. So hopefully that helps you guys navigate the admission. Thank you.